What's up guys, this is the Dakachino here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a Minecraft server for 1.12.2. I'm going to get you into 2018 with a nice Minecraft server going. I'm also going to show you all of the supplementary things that you have to do to set up a Minecraft server, inc including setting up a 64-bit Java. Not that you need to do that, but it'll help us allocate more RAM. Like, you need that to allocate more RAM, so we're going to start out with that. Then we're going to like, jump right into setting up a static IP. And then we're going to set up uh, some port forwarding stuff, kind of work with the Minecraft server jar, and uh, at the end I'll show you how to allocate more RAM to it. I'm going to throw some timestamps into the description to make it easier to jump around. And uh, let's get right into this. Let's start out with 64-bit uh, <clears throat> Java. So first I just want you to verify that your system is 64-bit, right there, 64-bit operating system. And the next you're going to go to this link, the first one in the uh, description, and you're going to go and click this one and just install that. Simple as that. And then you'll have 64-bit Java going. Pretty simple, straightforward. The next one is your static IP. Now what I'm, you're going to need to do is go to your command prompt. I'm not going to do this because I don't want to like reveal all my sensitive information, but I'll, I have some screenshots to show you what you have to do. So first you need to go to IP config forward slash all and just hit enter just like that and it'll like spew out a bunch of uh, lines. And the next thing that you need is go open network and sharing center. Click on adapter settings and then your active adapter like mine's ethernet 3, Bernie Sanders sucks. You're going to right click that and hit properties. You're going to click on Internet Protocol version 4, IPv4 right there, Properties, and you're going to hit use the following IP address, and then you'll enter the information. Now I'll go ahead and pull up these screenshots here. So you're going to use your IPv4 address in the top one, your subnet mask here, and your default gateway here. Pretty simple. And then for the rest of this, you're going to use your DNS servers down here. Now, if your router assigns its own DNS servers, you're going to have to go to your router and use the DNS servers they provide. If your if it's through your ISP, it'll be right here, where mine just says 192.168.1.1. You'll have two or three, maybe, DNS servers here, and you just use the first one for the preferred and the following one for the alternate. It's pretty easy stuff there. Um, it can be complicated, but I just kind of made it as simple as possible with these poorly drawn arrows. Um, here's a screenshot from my Linksys router stuff. So the first DNS is here, and I have a second one here. Um, this is under the troubleshooting, and then you go to status, and then you click report, and it'll be right there. So there's a troubleshooting status report if you have a Linksys smart router. Um, you can see kind of circled it there but anyway <clears throat> so after you do that you're going to click uh, validate settings which we'll go right back into this real quick I shouldn't have closed all this so you're going to do all this stuff enter all that information click validate it'll disconnect you from the internet for a minute and then it'll reconnect you and you should be good to go and that's really crucial information especially this IP because we're going to be doing a lot of stuff with this later on so once you're done with that We'll move on to downloading the Minecraft server. Um, I already have the jar, but just in case, I will pull up Minecraft server jar. And you're just going to click this one right here, and it'll download. <clears throat> Now what I want you to do is once it downloads, drag it to your desktop. It'll just make things easier. We can tuck it away later. Um, drag it to your desktop. It'll uh, pull it right here. And then you're going to double click that. It'll take a second. It's going to auto populate some folders over here. Or some files, rather. Bring those over. Or anywhere, I guess. I don't know where they'll go for you guys. Pull up the EULA. That's the end user license agreement. You're going to have to set this to true. And then hit save. Otherwise, this will never open. Okay. And then um, what I need you to do is open the properties file and then use uh, Notepad to open it. 
Oh wait, it didn't actually do anything yet. Run this again after you uh, open the ELA. Allow access to, and you'll see that I've already used 200 megabytes and I only have, you know, 5% free, free, I guess. So once that's, okay, it's all done setting up the server. Sorry if you guys can hear my uh, computer. It's a little loud. Um, so then click this. We'll full screen it. And the IP will be here. I want you to enter the IP from this. Let's get this all going here. Use this IP that you put up here into the server IP and make sure that your port is 25565. That's important also. Um, you can also send a different message of the day and stuff like that, but anyway, more importantly, server IP here and uh, your per port is here. Now, once that's all done, you can just kind of new folder, just kind of drag all of this in and you know rename it whatever you want it to that way you kind of have it all thrown into a folder you can put it back into whatever all right that's uh pretty much done with your server setup now port forwarding is a like a different story for each person because people have routers modems all that stuff and for my Linksys router i just had to um go to security well let's see if i have it up I do. Okay. So I'm just going to log in. And we're going to go way down to maybe security, apps and gaming, single port forwarding. And I just made this one to uh, show like what to do. So just enter a random device IP, like whatever this is. And then you have, you can name it whatever. I just named it Minecraft. Then your external and internal port will be the same. Your protocols both. So these are the two five five six five that you have in the uh, configuration file. This is the IP from this. Uh, you guys can't see that side. Okay. This is the IP. What would be the IP from this one? It goes here, there and then you just enabled it apply it save it um everyone's is different though so that was pretty easy for me to do it um what you can do is go to portforward.com which i'll put in the uh, i'll put in the description there and i'll run to it real quick here and you just click port forwarding guides click your serve or your router so we'll just go with a Cisco because that seems pretty easy close this ad and then this will be all the different Cisco routers so let's try the X3000 and I have your steps your logins and I'll show you exactly how to port forward for you guys just make sure you follow 25565 um, both protocols and you should be good to go so that is how you port forward now connecting to your server from your own computer, you can just use the static IP. So we'll just choose a random one. The IP that you use to create, we'll just do 241 or 242 and then colon and then the port, which is 25565. If you're just connecting to your server from your house, that's all you have to do as long as you're connected to the same network. That's your uh, internal IP address. If you want to connect to your IP, or your friends connect to your server, excuse me, you have to go to Google. Just go to google.com and just type in what's my IP. And it'll just pop up your IP address right in Google. And if that doesn't work, I think there's a website called like what's my IP.org. use that and then use the IP address they give you so let's just say it's 32.x and then 
just type in 25565 and that's what your friends use to connect and this is friends and internal network so that is how you connect yeah okay so that's pretty straightforward also all right sorry about that edit there uh, there was a little bit of a complication but so basically the last thing we're going to do is allocate more RAM. Um, this is a pretty straightforward uh, idea too. And all you're going to have to do is I included the code in the, the command in the description. You're going to just paste that in. You're going to change these numbers to the amount of gigabytes that you want to use. So let's say I want to use 8 for this server, right? So I'm going to use 8 for this server and just put that in and then you're going to open your server folder you're going to take a look and you're going to type space and then the name of your server file so minecraft underscore server dot one dot one two dot two and then always always don't forget this otherwise it won't work dot jar at the end you're just going to save as into your server folder as I'm just going to do server dot bat for batch file and just save that close out and then you're going to run that batch file instead of this one you just double click that you pop it up allow access and just like that the server is on and your friends can connect and in order to you can whenever you want to save it just save the all or if you want to stop the server to do updates just type in stop and just like that you know your server's up and going your friends you know half an hour and you and your friends can be playing minecraft and not pay that ridiculous amount of money that they want you to pay for servers you know seven ten bucks you save some money on the side there um think that's everything i mean we did we covered port forwarding yeah okay so if you guys have any questions just let me know throw something in the comment and i hope you guys have a great holiday new year all that stuff thanks guys